hello so today's video we're going to be putting to the test Millie Macintosh makeup so basically she bring out some stuff with boots and I picked it up so I picked it up in January so this video is well overdue so I picked it up for half price so basically I picked up a brush collection so this is 18 pounds so you get one two three four five basically six brushes because one's double ended for 18 quid which basically works out three pound a brush which is pretty pretty reasonable actually no it's better than reasonable it's actually really good but um and it comes in like this little cute case and it says like m m for millie mcintosh and then i also picked up the couture beauty ulm beauty collection which just looks like so it comes with a sleeve and it gives you everything and this was i actually don't know how much this was but i'll leave it on screen anyway um but let's just open up the brushes first to see what they look like I literally haven't touched any of this since January. <laughs> so, you do get a little thing on the back. So, it says, Use my Luxe collection of professional style makeup brushes to find, sculpt the face and eyes. So, basically, you get a bronzer brush. It says, Bronzing slash powder brush. A slanted brush slash strobing brush. Oh, can't say that. Eyeshadow brush. Eye blender brush. And a double-ended eye definer. So, let's just pull that off it comes in like what, what is it called um oh my god i can't think of the word <laughs> my mind is actually blank tissue paper that's the one oh and it all comes like when you open it like one brush folds out and then another one does and another one does so these are what the brushes look like. So they come in this sort of packaging. Let's just open this up. So, oh, this is actually a really pretty handle. So it's like blue and gold, which is sort of like the whole theme that's going on. Was it rose gold? I think it's meant to be rose gold. Yeah. But a sort of nice little brush. Um, maybe more of a powder brush than anything. And then you have the slanted brush just says Millie Macintosh on it it doesn't actually say what it is um they're quite small brushes and they're very lightweight as well sort of cheap plastic but this would be like the angled one which you could probably use for strobing I was thinking it's a lot bigger like if I show you this compared to this one that I usually use this is what I was sort of expecting so this is a spectrum a05 so that's the size i was sort of expecting but as you can see it's quite a bit smaller than a regular brush and we also have a little flat brush the same packaging as well i'm guessing this is to like pack on color on the lid sort of what it reminds me of and then you have a little blending brush which is kind of cute get right up in the crease it they feel nice and soft no doubt about it and the last one is the double ended one so you get like this slanted brush and then like a little i'd say like to pack on color underneath because it's like almost like a pencil brush but less stiff i'd say so that's all the brushes that you get so moving on to the couture beauty so basically in here you get a face illuminator, a lip liner, an eye pencil, brow duo, bronzer, lip lacquer and an eyeshadow quad. So let's just rip that off. This is such beautiful packaging, like this is really nice, like especially for like drugstore, I feel like it looks like pretty quality. Uh, obviously it's got a picture of her on it, I think she looks really pretty in the picture, it's like black and white but she still looks like really dewy and stuff. I forgot to mention where she's from as well, didn't I? Like, I best know her from Made in Chelsea, so she's like a reality star. Basically, this is all the products that you get in here. So that nice, like, pink, gold, sort of classic um, packaging that she has. So, the first product that I am going to actually work with is the eyeshadow, not the eyeshadow, sorry, the brow product, if I can get it out of the packaging. So basically everything's like one tone. So mm, it's obviously sort of done to work with someone of a certain skin colour. So probably more fair I'm assuming. I haven't actually looked at any of the colours apart from the lipstick which is the pink colour. 
And plus, say like you really love this product, you'd have to buy the whole collection again because it's not a single product. So that kind of sucks really, to be honest, because like if I like something, then obviously I'm going to buy it again. So this is the eye um, brow duo. So obviously you get like a blondy shade and then a more brown shade. Um, they feel nice and soft. It's got quite a bit of pigment to it. I was going to take the slanted brush, but if I'm honest, it might work. We'll give it a go. So I'm just going to brush through the brows first before I do anything. So I'm just going to take a spoolie and do so. So I'm just going to take the brush, it's like double ended. I'm actually going to start off with the darker shade first and then go into the light when we fiver it up. Typically when I sort of use powders, I'll use a stencil because I'm a hot mess when it comes to powders. I feel like this is sort of aimed at very like natural beauty as well because that's why I've always seen Millie look like. I've never seen her go like full glam with makeup and like that's sort of my vibe. I think this eyebrow brush is alright as well but I think it's more intended for like smoking at the lash line because this is a bit difficult to work with especially if you have small eyebrows small eyebrows thin eyebrows go into the well, blondy shape front and just run that through the front might take a mixture of both just because i feel like that color is doing nothing for the front of my brows okay um that's actually a really nice little um brow duo um I feel like it's done a nice job of filling in my eyebrows. Um, I have to be super careful with powder because, like I said, I'm just a hot mess when it comes to eyebrows. But I feel like they've done a really good job. Like, my eyebrows look decent. Like, maybe a bit too brown for me. I'm more like taupe, which is like universal. Like, it has that brown, but not too brown, you know? But that's the sort of shade that I go for. So the next product that we're going to use is the eyeshadow quad. So this is packaged in, nice sort of pink packaging that it was before with the gold writing. And then you open it up and this is what it looks like. So you sort of have, oh it looks like all shimmers. Oh this one's a pretty colour. Uh, yeah. So it looks like it's got shimmer around it but there's no shimmer in it, like it looks pretty matte. Oh, that feels nice and soft. So these are what the colours look like. So I've already primed my eyelids and I'm just going to go into the palette. My camera did decide to die on me. So basically I'm just going to start off by taking this top shade up here on the brush. So when you push in, you do get a little bit of fallout, nothing major. The excess. I'm just going to put this in the crease. I feel like the brush is okay, but I feel like where it's short as well, I feel like I can't get a good grip on it to like really sort of buff. The colour's really pigmented though. That brush is okay, it's not the best thing I've ever used in my life, but yeah, I just prefer other brushes. So I'm going to take this darker shade at the bottom on a Spectrum A07. The excess and put that in the right in the socket. It's a nice little palette. Um, quads, I'm not like too keen on. Like, I don't know, like, I just feel more inspired by a whole palette rather than three or four eyeshadows because to me, I just I don't really don't see the point, especially when they're like really expensive as well. Like, what's the point of paying like £50 for three eyeshadows when I can get like a palette for that price? For the outer corner, I'm going to take this double ended brush and I'm going to take the darker shade in the quad to pack that on the outer corner and to pack on the colour I'm going to take the brush as well and just obviously take this last shade oh that's actually such a pretty shade hmm, lovely so I'm going to take the eyeliner from the palette from the palette from the kit so I'm assuming this is a black eyeliner really pretty packaging again um, I'm gonna put this on the top line and just smoke it out a bit oh 
is really, really bad, so that's nice. I like that. So I'm just going to finish off the other eye, put on some foundation and stuff, and then we'll be back. So the next product we're going to move on to is the bronzer. So this says Warm Tan Bronzer for Super Flat Up Glowy. Super. Oh, bit of plastic just for that. For Super Flattering Glow, there we go. So you do get a little mirror in here, which I think is really nice. I'm just going to take the brush, the powder brush, just dip it in and warm up the face. It's giving me a bit of a bronze look. I think that's quite a nice little bronzer that. Maybe I will try it with a different brush. But I mean, I'm not hating how it looks. It looks quite nice with my skin tone. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So the next product that we're gonna use is the Face Illuminator. So this says on it, be your own kind of beautiful. So it says, oh, it says how to use. That's weird because none of the other products tell you how to use it. It says, glide over skin, add warmth, radiance, and luminosity. So it says, enhance your complexion, naturally lumin luminosity with a radiant face luminizer. <laughs> God, that's a bloody mouthful. So let's just, oh God, that's way too much. Okay, that is really dark and I've just, put way too much on the back of my hand um, I mean it doesn't look like there's much to it oh my face is so pink compared to my hands it might be more like a liquid bronzer then an illuminator like a liquid illuminator bronzer kind of thing let's just do it on the face so far not so happy with that i just feel like it hasn't really done much maybe it might be better for something else but for a highlight it's a no from me so moving back onto the eyes i'm just gonna take a bit of this shade on this brush i don't think there's anything Oh, there's a lot of darkness on it. I'm not going to use that brush. I'm going to use this one and take that shade up here in the quad and just run that underneath the lower lash line. Am I actually really enjoying this little quad thing? I think it's really pretty. Um, purples aren't usually my favourite because I have like blue green eyes and purple obviously brings that green more. So I tend to lean more towards like the reds and the coppers and that because I want my blue to come out more but yeah that's that <laughs> so i'm just gonna put on mascara and lashes and then we'll come back to do the lips okay so we have the lip liner here which is in the pink packaging which i think is cute because you won't get mixed up with the eyeliner but obviously it does say like lip liner and stuff on it so it's this sort of nice pinky nude so let's go ahead and fill in the lips and then we're going to go in with the lip lacquer as well, which is a lacquer, like a gloss. It stinks. It does not smell nice. So that was everything in the collection. Um, I'll tell you what I'm not impressed with, first of all, are the brushes. Um, don't think they're worth it whatsoever. I feel like you can get better brushes out there for a really for a reasonable price like spectrum do amazing ones crown brush eco tools there's so many good brands out there so i'd say skip on the um brush there but we're going to see how this makeup wears throughout the day so far i'm actually really impressed with the IRL um powders the lip liner i really like highlighter is, is just not doing anything for me but the bronzer is really nice as well Eyeshadow quad I do like. The eyeliner is really good, but obviously we'll see if it like runs and stuff. But so far, not too bad, but not too good. So the check-in time is 20 past four. So I will see you. Let me do so the check-in time is at like 11 o'clock. I don't have my phone or watch on me to show the time, but believe me, it's like pitch black outside. But um, just want to do a quick check in. Uh, obviously, my lipstick's all worn off because it's like a gloss, so it's going to wear off. But nevertheless, it was still pretty. Shame it didn't smell the best. Um, eyeshadow looks okay, so a bit of wear and tear on it. Not 
the best palette I've ever used in my life. Uh, bronze is still there. There's not really much of a glow going on. So I didn't really like the liquid illuminator. The eyebrow product I really liked. I feel like my eyebrows have stayed on really well. What else is it? Eyeliner. The eyeliner hasn't like run down or anything. So that's always good. But obviously it depends what it's like in the waterline. Um, I think it's a nice little set. Like it's a nice little gift set to give someone. But I personally wouldn't go out of my way to buy another one. So all in all it was fine but not the best thing I've ever used in my life. Okay, so that's the end of here. <laughs> Hello, so for today's video we're going to be testing out Mealy... No, not going to say this. did pick it up half price, this is in January. J January. J J it's supposed to be satisfying to peel off, but I can't get it off. Oh my god! Oh, oh no, it actually peels off the back. Oh, I'm just not peeling off things, it's like a sticker thing. Whoops, I feel like half my head's missing and it's been like this the entire bloody video. So I'm not going to do that. Nah, you made the shit.